So we all know that first impressions count for a lot, right? And looking at friends, family, celebrities, everyone's got their own sort of style to it. I usually go with something like, oh, how good are those party pies? Or something like, oh, how do you know Steven? And I mean, <laughs> I knew I'd fuck up, but I didn't think it'd be the first slide. <laughs> um, what really gets to me, gets me confused, is when people start asking me where I'm from. Um, because I've got a bit of a complicated story. Uh, <laughs> I was born in Bahrain, but I moved around every couple of years, moved countries. Uh, I speak Bengali about as well as I speak French, which is not very well. Um, and my name has an Arabic origin. Uh, but at the end of all that, I spent about half my life in Sydney so far. And I consider myself a Sydney cider. So, that said, I don't really identify with like the archetype of a true blue Aussie, and I don't have any indigenous ties, so that whole concept gets a bit confusing. And when you think about it some more, I mean, what does being from a country even mean? Like, how can I represent 23 million people that I don't even know? Dunbar's number suggests that we can only form about 150 real connections with people. So, I mean, 150 people is like a third of the size of this room. <laughs> it's crazy. And I don't, I don't understand how you can be from a group of 23 million when you only know a couple of hundred people, right? But that said, I guess the question where you're from can mean a whole bunch of different things. And for most people, it's a similar story. It's something like, uh, I grew up in Melbourne and I moved to Sydney when I was 18 because I hate culture and I love curfews and casinos. <laughs> but Sydney's funny, right? I mean, people call it a melting pot, but I think it's got... Um, a few more rough edges than that. I mean, think about Cabramatta, Bankstown, uh, <laughs> Granville, uh, the Shire, the North Shore, Newtown. No one else. Um, you picture different kinds of people, right? You, you, and that's a healthy thing. It means that we've... It means that we've developed a whole set of awesome subcultures, but <laughs> in that context, I guess it makes sense to want to know where the people around you sort of grew up, because it could be very different to where you're from. The issue is when you're not white or you have a mongrel accent like I do, some people will follow up with a slightly more racially divisive, where are you really from? Which gets a bit confronting, but all in all, I totally agree with trying to get to know the people around you a little bit better. Just be wary that there's some people out there who have been subjected to some sort of discrimination in their life, and they might be a bit sensitive about it. Um, so, I mean, these guys, when you ask someone where you're from and they feel a bit sensitive about it, they might uh, feel like they're trusting you with some information, right? It's like, here's this fact about me. Uh, take it as a part of who I am, but don't use it to judge me or put me in some sort of weird box that's separate to you. Um, but for the most part, uh, aside from a couple of uh, xenophobic pricks, um, <laughs> we... Australians, and particularly Sydney siders, are totally on board with the fact that our culture has been shifting for hundreds of years and will continue to shift for hundreds more. Um, I'm actually a bit fast. <laughs> that's, that's a bit of a good thing, not that I'm fast, that, um, <laughs> that people are accepting the fact that we're, um, we're pretty well mixed because uh, the UN recently published that um, 244 million people around the world uh, live in places that they're not nationals of. And if that were a country, it'd be the world's fifth biggest country. Um, the likelihood is that most people there would be more culturally aligned than the others because they've all gone through that same sort of third culture migrant experience as well. In Australia, it's even bigger, right? You've, one in three people now who live in Australia were born overseas, as was indicated by Stephen when people put their hands up in this room. Um, and... I mean, that's important for us because it means what it means to be Australian is going to change, but it also means that there's a growing population of people who don't really know how to answer the question, where are you from, like myself. Um, so in that context, why don't we think of something new? Why don't we think of asking people for their opinion, uh, for banter's sake, on some pretty inane things? Um, here's, if you're struggling for topics, I've put three up here. Um, I found that most people have opinions on one or three of these things. And coincidentally, they make for a pretty good Monday night as well. <laughs> Actually, why don't we take that as a challenge? Why don't each of us tonight, in the break or later on in the evening, go up to someone we don't know, meet them, and ask them an uh, interesting question that you wouldn't have normally asked for small talk? Um, yeah, that'll be interesting. Uh, <laughs>
I think it'll add a bit of uh, fun into all of our lives and it'll, yeah, make tonight a bit more fun. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of my rant. It doesn't always go well at parties, but I hope it gave you guys some food for thought uh, for the next time you're here. Where are you from? Thanks. Woo!